This is one of the most important skills that I think every home cook should learn. And I know that because it's one that I use every single week. How to debone a chicken Chinese style. So obviously it starts with a chicken. You don't need to do anything to it. It's normal free range chicken. I've just drained it out. Don't wash it because that'll just splash bacteria all over your kitchen. And of course, Chinese style, we're gonna do it with a cleaver. What's the difference between a Chinese style debone chicken and a Western style debone chicken? Well, not much really. I guess the Chinese way goes one extra step. And also with the Chinese way, we end up with a lot of meat on the bones for stock. Not that we're wasting meat, but we're gonna be focusing a lot more on our stock. So I've got a tray to put my fillets as I cut them and a stock pot that's gonna go on the stove a bit later. So where do we start? Just with the legs, a sharp cleaver. And you wanna find this point in here. So between the leg and I guess the point of the breast, you'll feel there, there's nothing there. It's just basically being held on by skin. So if we can cut in there, we'll just be able to take the leg of the chicken right back and then if you push the leg like this you can see there that little oyster the chicken oyster you want to make sure you get around that that's kind of the hip joint of the chicken so you want to make sure that you don't waste that it's really good tasty meat in there so the way to do that is just using the tip of the cleaver just kind of slice in around it just pop the joint out and keeping as close to the carcass as possible take off one maryland now we'll just leave that to one side and do the same for the other leg Again, pop that joint out and then keep nice and close to the body, take off the leg. And now for the wings. I guess one of the big differences in Chinese style deboning to Western style deboning is which parts of the chicken you emphasize. The wings are obviously very important as are the thighs. So you wanna end up with these kind of bigger thigh fillets and bigger wings and smaller in the breasts, I guess, because they're not used for as many different things in Chinese cooking and they're not as prized as they are in Western cooking. So I turn the bird up this way find that joint of the wing and I want to take that off and to maximize the size of this kind of drumette I want to take off a bit of the breast fillet as well got this kind of extended sized drumstick there I'll do the same with the other wing move those to one side because I'm not finished with those ones yet either so now the breasts very very easy you just find the central keel bone a couple of little slices down either side of that and then again little nicks with the knife as close to the carcass as possible so you can just pull that breast away. You've got that nice breast fillet there, slightly smaller because we've taken the end off to augment the size of the wing, but I just pull off the tenderloin there as well because the kids love those separately. Same on the other side. Down the other side, again, take that tenderloin off the back. So I've got two tenderloins, two breasts here. Now I'm left with my carcass. I can throw that straight into the stock, but there's a couple of little pieces I wanna take off this first. Firstly, these deposits of fat inside the back near the tail. These are absolutely delicious. I can render these down into chicken oil that I can use for all kinds of purposes. And now here, this is a really kind of special piece of the chicken. You don't see it much in recipes other than in Japanese cooking, but this intercostal here, the part that kind of joins the diaphragm of the chicken is so delicious. It really, really is. You can just grill that. It's a bit of a treat for the cook. And now my carcass is ready for the stock pot. And now I'm gonna start with my wings. I could leave the wing whole just like it is now, but I'm not gonna make a dish out of two chicken wings. So what I want to do is just break that up into three parts. I find each of the joints here, no pressure with the cleaver at all. Just cutting through the cartilage of the joints should be like a knife through butter. I'll use the wing tips for my stock. Now, the last thing I wanna do is debone these Marylands because the debone Maryland is, I think, one of the best cuts of chicken that you can get. It's very easy to do too, because all you gotta do is see it's kind of L-shaped, two bones and a joint in the middle. All you gotta do is take that out. So you've got a very easy guide. Turn it so I've got the meat side facing up. Two cuts with the knife, following the line of those bones, and then using the point of your cleaver. In a cleaver, you've got two points. You've got the, the toe point and then you've got the heel point as well. You should be sharpening both of those when you're sharpening your cleaver. Just little nicks around, following the line of the bone and then make sure you get around the joints as well. Press down, hold the bone onto the board with the cleaver and then just pull the meat away from the bone. You get that away very, very cleanly. Same with the drumstick side. Now this is the only time we're actually gonna cut through a bone in this whole deboning process. Bit of a crack on the ankle there. Using the ankle as a handle, hold the bone against the board. You see how cleanly you can pull away the chicken from the bone there. 
couple little nicks around the joint and you can pull that away. And so we have this very clean little bone here, goes into the stock pot, cut the ankle off, that goes in the stock pot too. We end up with this, this kind of extended thigh fillets, the thigh and the drumstick all deboned together. And this is one of the best cuts of chicken. You can just fry that in a bit of the rendered chicken oil and it's a delicious, delicious dish. I'll do the same with the other one. L shape, following the line of the bone, make sure the joint's free, pull the meat away from the joint, crack the ankle, same again with the drumstick, and then just a couple little nicks to free up the joint there, cut the ankle off, and there we are. It may seem like it's hard to do when you see all these pieces laid out, but you've seen it's actually very easy. And once you've done it two or three times, you'll be an expert at it and it'll save you lots and lots of money and it'll make you a better cook too.